Let's look at a gas phase chemical reaction and determine the free energy difference between the products and the reactants. Now we're going to determine delta G without the standard sign. Delta G with the standard sign would mean all the pressures would be one atmosphere. Here we're not at that standard state conditions, we're at a different set of conditions. We want to determine if that set of conditions is at equilibrium or will the reaction proceed towards products or reactants to reach equilibrium. So we know the equilibrium constant is 41, so we can calculate a reaction quotient and compare it to the equilibrium constant and determine which way the reaction has yet to proceed. So let's do that. The reaction quotient is given by the product concentrations over the reactant concentrations raised to their stoichiometric powers. So the partial pressure of NH3 squared, the partial pressure of nitrogen, and the partial pressure of hydrogen cubed. I can plug in the conditions I've been given. So if I plug those in, partial pressure of ammonia, 21 bar, partial pressure of N2, 4.2 bar, pressure, partial pressure of H2, 1.8 bar, and I can do that, ca that calculation. That comes out to 18. 18 less than 41. So Q is less than K. That means less than K. That means the denominator must be too big. The reactants are too big, so I'm going to proceed towards products to get Q to equal K. Now, for this reaction, I also wanted to calculate the value of delta G, the difference between the free energies of the products and the free energies of the reactants at these conditions. Now, I should anticipate that that's going to be negative, because I've already said the reaction is going to go towards products. That means it has to proceed further downhill. The reactant free energies are still too high compared to the product free energies. So let's see if that holds true. I can calculate delta G from the standard state free energy difference and R, the temperature, and this equilibrium quotient that I've just calculated. So let's go ahead and do that. I can calculate delta G standard from minus RT ln K. I was given K and the temperature. So Here's R, the gas constant, T, the temperature 400 K, and the equilibrium constant at 400 K. So that free energy standard state difference is minus 12.3 kilojoules per mole. I can use that now to calculate delta G under these conditions, where Q holds. So let's just plug some of those numbers in. Here's the standard state free energy difference, R and T and our reaction quotient that we just calculated of 18. So now I can do that arithmetic and I find out that the delta G for the reaction under these conditions is indeed minus 21.9 kilojoules per mole. Just as we expected, the reactants at a higher free energy than the products. So when I subtract products minus reactants, I get a negative number implying that I'm going to go downhill towards the products, the exact same prediction I got when I compared Q and K. So everything rings true. I can calculate reaction quotients. I can calculate standard state free energy differences and instantaneous free energy differences from the data I'm given and the relationship between Q, K, delta G, and the standard state free energy.